Okay. Um, great progress was made in the shop today. And I am fast approaching hitting that wall because I know that I bought a four foot stick of square tubing. Steel square tubing. And I need it for the next phase of this build. And I cannot find it anywhere in the shop here. So that's a sign that I'm hitting the wall. And I should probably go in. I haven't had supper yet either, and it's going on 10 o'clock. Told you, I'm laser focused. But I made a lot of progress. So what I got accomplished today is I got the hood finished, riveting it up, all the uh, skins on the hood. Um, I didn't do the lower uh, um, what do I say? I can't even think. I didn't do the lower skid plate sides yet. I'll do that tomorrow. But I got the tins riveted on. I got the trim riveted on. I got the cover in color painted. I got some of the decals on. I got some clear coat on the top because I proceeded to work on the top and I, after that and I wanted to have the clear coat on there before I started mounting anything to the top. I temporarily mounted the headlight. Um, I built the drink holder slash dashboard um, on the back and got that all painted and clear coated. Got the cup holders in. So yeah, it's looking good. Oh, you want to see it? You sure? Okay. Here's the cup holders. I shall show you my great big Yeti tumbler. That's my favorite thing in the world. Fits right in there. Got one for each side. The wife has one too, if she ever decides to go fishing with me. And I assume she'll probably want to go a couple of times since we'll be riding in comfort. So here's the hood. Got some of the decals on. I'm still waiting for the big wolf's head for the side. Snarling wolf. Temporarily mounted the headlight just so I can get the hole drilled for the grommet and the holes for the light. And I got the ice auger mounts on. Now, the thing that's pretty cool about this is I can probably tip this hood open with the ice maker, or ice maker, see I'm hitting the wall, with the ice auger still strapped to the hood. Should I test that theory? I put a limiter strap on here made out of winch cable when I blew my overhead hoist all the heck. Uh... I saved the cable off of it, so I made a, a hood uh, lanyard for it. Let's see, I mean, if it's, it's off a winch, if it can work on a winch, it should be able to hold the weight of this auger. Here goes nothing. So far, so good. Oh, I 
had to be gentle with that. If that lat's loose, I'm in a world of hurt. But I welded a washer, I TIG welded a washer on the end of the cable uh, to act like an eyelet for it. So anyway, here's the inside. Here's that cable I was telling you about. The inside's all painted black. The mounts come with, that's designed for a handlebar, or not a handlebar, but a, a rack on an ATV. So those act as nice hood stiffeners for that auger. So there she is. I'm going to gently lower her back down. Auger weighs about 20 some pounds, so that was a pretty good test. You just don't go flopping it open. <laughs> so I, um, I want to put some air ducts on this hood to let cool air in there because it's an air-cooled engine. So I've got a really cool plan up my sleeve. It's going to be pretty fiddly to create it, but um, it's going to be cool. And the vents, those, those air ducts, that's going to go right up in here. It's going to be right up above the light. And then once my graphics guy gets my big snarling wolf head stickers for the sides, and I get that rack built on the top, the top is getting a um, kind of a rack like uh, what's on the back, but not as high. It'll probably be up about like this. Put a frame that goes all the way around with a piece of that rubber mat glued on the inside. And then I picked up a, where did I put it? See, here we go. Oh, there it is. I picked up a rubber bungee cargo net for that top rack. So I'm thinking what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to get a, one of my backpacks. And when I go ice fishing, I'll carry my backpack with me and I'll have drinks and smokes and hand warmers and survival stuff in there. Um, and that bungee will hold that backpack down inside that top rack. I still have to mount some brake lights on here. Those are going to go, I'm thinking I'm going to put them right here. Um, off the side because you should be able to see them past my hips. Uh, so when I'm on a snowmobile trail or something and I hit the brakes, I'll be seen from behind. I still have to put a mud flap on the back, custom make a mud flap. And then uh, get the drive line all figured out, get the, get the clutch. I contacted the seller because I'm not sure if this clutch is omnidirectional, meaning that I can mount it either way, gear out or gear in. I'm hoping it's omnidirectional because that's the only way it's going to work on this motor. Ugh. I'm going to have to do some grinding on the crankshaft to knock that collar off of there so that I can slip that clutch in farther towards the engine block so that the chain will line up with the jack shaft. I still have to get the jack shaft gear. I was looking at them tonight at Fleet Farm and I couldn't remember what tooth I had. So I didn't pull the trigger on that. Um, make the chain, mount the engine after I top it off with some fresh AMS oil. Uh, 
And then most importantly, I still got to order throttle cables. I think, I think I'm going to custom order throttle cables. My uh, buddy that owns a snowmobile shop up in Merrill, 365 Power Sports. Oh, that reminds me, I got to put one of his stickers on here. Yeah, I do. Sweet. Um, he, uh, he knows a company that'll custom make cables with whatever ends you want on them. So I want this done right. Tim, in his haste to get the thing working, cobbled his cables and then his brake cable failed and you know he's got them held together with, with clamp screws and stuff like that. Um, he was in a hurry to get the machine working versus I'm in the, trying to make the machine look cool plus work but I want all the systems that work on it to be professional grade. I don't want anything hacked or cobbled. So I'm gonna get custom cables made to length with the proper ends on them uh, for throttle and for brake. Uh, I'll probably work on that next week, getting that measured up and ordered. Tomorrow's mission, should I choose to accept it? I was gonna go ice fishing but no, I'm not, um, is to finish the wiring. I want to build the control module for up on the handlebars with all the switches. Uh, I want to get all the wiring hooked up and functional. I bought a new battery today, 330 cold cranking amps. It turns the motor over. Um, so, yeah. I got some stuff to do. Oh, I want to put the stiffener between the, the skis to lock the skis in true track mode. So I got a few things to do. I got to build the rack for the top. Hopefully tomorrow after some coffee, I'll be able to find that square tubing. Get that top basket all finished up. So yeah, I got another full day in the shop on this. Um, but I'm really happy with the way it's going so far. I mean, it looks really great. As long as... When you're building something like this, you take your time, spend the time, and do it right. Um, if at the end of the project, when you, when it finally comes time to start it up and drive it and run it, it'll be. And if you have a design flaw or something like that, it'll be a lot easier to deal with that if everything is neat and not just cobbled. So, uh, so I'm really happy. But I'm gonna go in and get some grub, chill out for a bit and then hit the hay. Catch you on the flip side.